Oh! There you go. First shot. Look at those particles. Love that. Afternoon. Once again, there is no Peter McKinnon photo assignment this week, so we are improvising and we're going to continue. We're going to do another one of the photo crafty books because, as I say every week, I want to stay creative, and this is quite a good idea, in my opinion, for me to stay creative. Wait, do I need to re-download the Dice app? I kept the app because I'm smart. Photo crafty book. I won't explain the book because I've explained it last week. If you haven't seen last week's video, I will link it up here, and you can go have a look. Ice cream. And you can go have a look, check it out, and check out all the photo vlogs on the channel while you're there. Have a gander, get lost, hopefully you enjoyed them. If you do, consider hitting the subscribe button. Yeah, dice, dice, dice. Ready? Is that in focus? Boom. Four. Four is slam dunk. Oh god, mum's not gonna like this. Slam dunk. So this is the description. The big storm in a fine bone china teacup is a compelling photographic story full of drama, energy, and intrigue. Get ready to make a splash. So basically the whole idea of this one is to make a mess. The whole idea is to make a photo set of a cup of tea being disrupted. All right, I'm gonna brainstorm some ideas and then we're gonna, we're gonna crack on. Do we want a story behind it? A story as to why my coffee's being splashed. <laughs> Other than the fact it's from a random photo challenge that I've set myself on a freaking Thursday afternoon. But then we also now need something to control the mess. So we'd have to do it on some sort of tray. So we'd have to do it on the side to keep the mess down maybe? Well then we wouldn't have to do it. Mm. Ah, so like, full disclosure, there was a, I just had the full on full presses of, I could just do another one. Like, I can't think of this. Let's just do, pick another one out of the book and do that. But no, that's cheating. And we're not cheating. We're doing this properly. The whole point of this is to challenge myself. And that's what we're going to do. We're challenging myself. All right, coffee. We're going to do it with coffee. Let's, let's go find coffee related things. We're taking the 85 1.8 because that's probably what I'm going to shoot this on because it's a very fast lens, especially compared to this one. So. So I've got the ingredients for the set. I'm now going to set this up and try and create some sort of set. It's going to be kind of hard to do because I can't see what it looks like through there. And obviously, it's going to look different to how it looks now when the A5's on. But what are you thinking? I'm also really bad at making sets. I kind of want to do it in the tray. Keep it in the tray for the sake of spillage. I've got a coffee here. I have. Fill this up with hot water and then realise I should probably have just used cold water. Because now I have to wait for that to cool down. But I'm a bit of a moron. So. But that's the main centrepiece there. If I'm walking this in towards the back, I mean, we sprinkle a bit of sugar, get a bit more texture in the photo. Just, just a little bit, just a little bit. Just to get more texture around. So this is the current set situation for the camera. I'm actually thinking I might bring this further back. No, because that then destroys the whole depth. Maybe actually, if I bring these off of the tray. Okay, that's a bit better, that's a very good. Bring that the empty bit. Clinically spaced out, I think. 
So this is the set we've created. I've moved some stuff back so that it gives it a bit more depth on the on the screen. See, there's a bit more depth now behind, just in the whole image as a whole. Stuff's moving more into the background. So, I've got a 10 second timer. It's gonna take five images. I've also gone outside. I've got a whole bunch of pebbles. So we're gonna use them and hopefully they create enough of a splash. I've got a timer with the 10 second timer to do this. So let's try it. No idea if I'm in focus right now, so hopefully. But I think the first attempt was the best with that, because it looks like we got some sick shots. But I'm gonna tidy up, we're gonna go upstairs, and we're gonna check out what these photos look like. A half penny coin from 1950, with a piece of blue tuck on the back because it's the perfect size for me to tighten my gorilla pod. Okay, so we are back at the desk. The desk, the desk, why am I talking like this? So we're back at the desk. I'm currently pulling the photos into Lightroom. Why are you singing? I think I, I generally think I drank too much coffee because I had like two cups while doing that photo shoot and now I've got far too much energy for my own good. Photos, import. It's Avaganda at how these came out. Stone falling. Stone, oh yeah, you can see all the pieces of coffee or um, sugar and coffee in this bottom corner where I just missed the mug completely because I am the mug. I actually have too much energy. What the hell is going on? I've got too, I generally think I've got a bit of a caffeine high right now. Oh, there you go. First shot, look at those particles. Love that. Love a bit of particles in my photos. Oh, look at that spillage. Oh, that's actually sick. Oh, this, this looked good in camera. This looks even better on the screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Too much energy. That is sick. That's the only set of perfect shots we're gonna get now because the rest of them are gonna have coffee everywhere because this is making so much mess. But still, maybe I should just drink like, I'm, I mean, I should just drink two cups of coffee before I do photo shoots because buzzing. That looks sick as well. I love the hecticness of that, all the particles. This, these are all shot at one two thousandth of a second. It's hella quick. That is sick. This is wicked. It's such a simple concept and yet I'm so excited about it. I'm like a kid in a candy shop. Except I'm an adult in a coffee shop. But I'm not in a coffee shop, I'm in my house. Stop talking, just stop talking. That is, this is actually sick. I'm, maybe I've just been in quarantine for too long, but I am finding so much pleasure in coffee. Oh, this is why I tried to drop two, so I've got a rock in that one. I can probably photoshop the rock out quite easily, to be fair. Because that's actually a really cool shot as well. Bloop. But maybe I should make my own sound effects for the, when I do the, the slow-mo video. Bloop. <laughs> I'm actually such an idiot. Oh, God. Okay. Moving on. Next photo. Just hectic coffee everywhere. Just splashage. Splashage? Splash. Splashing. <laughs> Splash edge. My camera, my laptop is just, it sounds like an aeroplane. I can't imagine what this sounds like on the microphone, so I apologize. So, in that case, I'm gonna do a quick edit on these and then we'll go talk, I'll show you the photos without my laptop taking off in the background. See you in a second. Yo, welcome back. So, I've done a quick edit on the photos. As I say, my laptop is still trying to take off in the background, but yeah. Future me here. I'm just editing this and realised that I was still on this weird coffee high when doing this talking sequence, so I'm speaking really fast. So I apologise in advance. Um, yeah, let's get back to it. So we'll quickly go through. This is the first one, as I've done a really quick edit on these, like, it's not much. I wanted to give it a kind of a warmer feel. I'm really into the warmer tones at the moment. I go for up and I go for stages. 
right now I'm into warmer tones. So let's try to give them a bit of a warm feel, especially it's coffee. Um, and yeah, this is the first shot. Probably one of my favorite shots, actually, this first one. Actually, no, I'm saying that. I think the second one is. But yeah, this is the first shot, uh, which I think is just, I just love it. I think it's sick. I love the particle effect. I mean, they're just photos of coffee, so we're going to go through these really quickly. So this is the second shot. This is my favorite shot. I love the spillage. I love the hecticness. I love the fact that at this point in time, the sugar and coffee and biscuits on the bottom it hasn't been disrupted by coffee flying all over it. Um, but yeah. I think it's great. I think it's a really cool shot. I definitely, I'm really glad I made the, I'm really glad I changed the depth of the background by moving the products, shall we say. I've put in the background further back because it just gives more feel to the photo instead of being quite clinical, in my opinion. Next shot, I forgot to Photoshop out the pebble at this point in time. So future Luke, put in the Photoshop version now. <laughs> This is the shot. Uh, yeah, hectic coffee flying up. Love it. Next one, coffee flying everywhere. Next one, more coffee flying everywhere. Yeah, they're very similar shots. They're just from different, they're just different coffee explosions. But yeah, there you go. That's my photo vlog. That's my vlog of me staying creative. I have to say, this was a lot of fun, this video to make. Like, it's such a simple concept. It's quite, a, it's not a stupid thing to do, but it's not. It's just a silly thing to take photos of, but it was a lot of fun to do. So, as always, go try it yourself. Recommend it. It's just, these videos are just for me to create, stay creative and a bit of fun. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you're also doing the same thing at home, staying creative and having fun at the same time. But yeah, that is all for this video. I won't keep you long. So, as always, drop a like down below if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you aren't already all the other stuff that YouTubers tell you to do. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.